We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Hello friends, let us have a concept of Fourier Integral. Now here in the first semester we have studied Fourier series. Okay. So and uh, so there what we did if we are having uh, any periodic function you can have that function as a signal also and if the period is uh, 12 say in minus l to l or say 0 to 2l or in general also we are having some finite period then that function can be expressed as a Fourier series. Okay, so that we have studied. Now our question is if a function is a non periodic and uh, we have say the interval is infinite, say. Okay, so that is another thing is say L tends to infinity. So, then what? Okay, so that answer given in Fourier integral. So, here we have we are going to study Fourier integral representation. Then Uh, Fourier cosine integral and Fourier sine integral. And Fourier sine integral. So, let us uh, have the theorem here that means uh, how we are representing that function as a Fourier integral. So, here we are having a function f and uh, that is a function is like uh, it is a piece wise uh, continuous f x is a piece wise continuous piece wise continuous meaning if you are having a domain we can make that domain into some sub intervals and then in each sub interval the function is continuous even its derivative is also a piece wise continuous moreover integration minus infinity to infinity modulus f x is convergent it is called absolutely integrable that is called f is absolutely integrable on r or you can say in minus infinity to infinity. Then this f x can be expressed as a Fourier integral and that formula you need to remember.
and the expression is and the representation is f x is equal to integration 0 to infinity a omega cosine omega x plus b omega sine omega x dx where a is 1 over pi integration minus infinity to infinity f of v cosine omega v dv and b omega is 1 over pi integration from minus infinity to infinity f of v sin omega v dv. So, this is nothing but the Fourier integral. So, this is Fourier integral. Okay. Now, if say f is e 1, e 1 function. So, if f is e 1 function, then b omega becomes 0, because then the f e 1 sin odd so, this is odd function and so that b omega 0 and uh, this f p e 1 cosine also e 1. So, this is e 1 function. So, then we write f x is equal to integration 0 to infinity a omega cosine omega x dx this is a dw it is a integration with respect to omega ok and e omega is now it is 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity because then it is even function f of v cosine omega v dv. This is called Fourier cosine integral. So, this is a Fourier cosine integral. So, this is Fourier cosine integral. Similarly, if f is odd, then e omega becomes 0, because if f is odd function cosine e 1, so this one be odd, so this 0 and this will be 2 times 0 to infinity, because this will be e 1 function. So, then a omega 0 and f x equal to integration 0 to infinity b omega sin omega x d omega, where b omega equal to 2 by pi 
इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी एफ ऑफ वी साइन ओमेगा वी डी वी सो दिस इज फोर ईयर साइन इंटीग्रल ओके सो दिस इज नथिंग बट फोर ईयर साइन इंटीग्रल सो दिस इज फोर ईयर साइन इंटीग्रल ओके सो नाउ यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर दिस फॉर्म्यूला लेट अस टेक वन एग्जाम्पल सो लेट अस टेक दिस एग्जाम्पल दिस वॉज आर स्क्रीन जी टी यू मेनी टाइम्स टू थ्री टाइम्स से विंटर थर्टीन समर फिफ्टीन समर सेवनटीन एंड सोन द क्वेश्चन इज फाइन the fourier integral find the fourier integral representation of fx is equal to 1 if modulus x less than 1 0 if modulus x greater than 1 okay and next hence evaluate integration 0 to infinity sin omega cosine omega x over omega d omega okay so this is the question and let us answer this question so let us solve this now we need to find the fourier integral representation so that fourier integral representation is fx equal to integration 0 to infinity a omega cosine omega x plus b omega sin omega x d omega where a omega equal to 1 over pi minus infinity to infinity f of v cosine omega v dv and b omega is 1 over pi integration minus pi to pi f of v sin omega v dv now uh, let us uh, see this a omega equal to 1 over pi minus infinity to infinity but now let us see the function is defined in modulus x less than 1 which is 1 and rest of them it is 0 what does it mean it mean that the function is defined like this say along r it is defined in minus 1 to 1 okay and that value function value is 0 1 If our x is in minus one to one, f x is one, and rest of the here, the value of f x is zero. Okay, so now we are having the value of the function is minus one to one only because in other part it is zero. So that is minus one to one, and the value of f of v is one cosine 
omega v dv. So, this is equal to now this is E 1 function cosine. So, we can write 2 by pi integration 0 to 1 cosine omega v dv and this is equal to 2 by pi integration of cosine. So, that is sin omega v divided by omega because integration with respect to v. So, we need to divide by differentiation of omega v with respect to w sorry with respect to v and this v limit is 0 to 1. So, this is equal to 2 by pi sin omega upon omega because when v equal to 1 and when v equal to 0 sin 0 is 0. What about b omega? So, b omega is 1 over pi now it is minus 1 to 1 1 sin omega v dv. So, this is equal to now this sin is odd function. So, value is 0. So, what is the Fourier integral representation? So, therefore, uh, the Fourier integral representation of f x is f x is equal to now this one integration 0 to infinity e omega cos omega x plus b omega sin omega x d omega ok. So, integration 0 to infinity a omega cos omega x plus b omega sin omega x d omega. This is equal to now b omega is 0. So, b omega here 0. So, this part is 0 and a omega is 2 by pi sin omega upon omega. So, this is equal to integration 0 to infinity sin omega 2 by pi sin omega upon omega cosine omega x d omega or this is equal to 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity sin omega over omega cosine omega x d omega. So, this side is f x. So, can I write like this? We take 2 by pi on the left hand side. So, we take 2 by pi here ok. So, that is equal to integration 0 to infinity sin omega cosine omega x over omega. So, that we want to find d omega is equal to pi by 2 into f x, but now what is f x? f x is given modulus x less than 1, then it is 1 and modulus x greater than 1, then it is 0. So, now one more thing you should take care exactly at the exactly at the 1. So, at x equal to 1, we need to take the average value. 
okay and at x equal to 1 the average value is here we need to take where it is the discontinuity so where it is discontinuity we need to take f of x plus 0 plus f of x minus 0 divided by 2 so here the function given is this way it is a uh, 1 if modulus x less than 1 so this is 1 in minus 1 less than x less than 1 and 0 if x is not in minus 1 to 1 ok so now here the value at uh, 1 is 1 here so this is when x plus 0 f of x plus 0 that means right side of 1 ok so right side of 1 so this is like this this value of f x is 1 and rest of other places f x is 0 so the right side of 1 the value is 0 and left side of 1 the value is 1 so at x equal to 1 we need to take pi by 2 so our f x is like this pi by 2 1 when modulus x less than 1 1 by 2 modulus x is equal to 1 and 0 then modulus x greater than 1 so this is pi by 2 when x modulus x less than 1 then pi by 4 if modulus x is equal to 1 and 0 if modulus x greater than 1 that is the value of this integration so here uh, at the end point or you can at the point of discontinuity we need to take the left value right value and divide by 2 ok so this is the answer next let us take one more example so find find the Fourier cosine integral Fourier cosine integral of fx is equal to e to the power minus kx where k is positive x is also positive ok so this was also asked into three times say march 10 winter 16 winter 17 ok so we need to find the Fourier cosine integral now what is Fourier cosine integral f x is equal to integration 0 to infinity a omega cosine omega x d omega where a omega is 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity f of v cosine omega v dv ok so this we can find so a omega equal to 2 by pi 0 to infinity now f of v f of v from here e power minus k v cosine omega v dv so this is 2 by pi now we should remember the formula for the 
integration and we have used many times those formula like this integration e power a x cosine b x d x is equal to e power a x over a square plus b square a cosine b x plus b sine b x ok so this formula we have to use so now this is equal to e power minus k v over now a is minus k and this b is omega ok so that is equal to this is k square plus omega square a so that is minus k cosine b x so cosine w v plus b so omega sine omega v ok this is 0 to infinity now this is equal to 2 by pi now see when you take this is for v infinity so e power minus k v so limit v tends to infinity e power minus k v 0 so that upper limit is 0 now minus v to be equal to 0 so e power 0 is 1 so 1 upon k square plus omega square v 0 so sin 0 here so that is 0 cosine 0 is 1 so that is minus k only so this is nothing but 2 k over pi k square plus omega square this is our a omega so therefore hence the Fourier cosine integral representation of fx is fx is equal to integration 0 to infinity a omega cosine omega x d omega so this is 0 to infinity now we need to put a omega so here this value so with respect to omega so this is 2k upon pi that can be taken outside 2k upon pi this is a 1 upon k square plus omega square cosine omega x d omega. So, that is the answer and let us find one more example of sine integral. Okay, so, let us take one example express f x is equal to integration uh, sorry f x equal to 1 for 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to pi 0 for x greater than pi as a Fourier sine integral and hence evaluate integration 0 to infinity 1 minus cosine 
पाई ओमेगा ओवर ओमेगा साइन ओमेगा एक्स डी ओमेगा सो दिस वॉज आस्क इन जी टी यू विंटर सेवनटीन सो लेट अस सी दिस इज अगेन नॉट डिफिकल्ट एग्जाम्पल सो द फोर इयर साइन इंटीग्रल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ एफ एक्स इज गिवन बाय एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी बी ओमेगा साइन ओमेगा एक्स डी ओमेगा वेर बी ओमेगा इक्वल टू टू बाई पाई इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी एफ ऑफ वी साइन ओमेगा वी डी वी ओके सो दिस इज इक्वल टू टू बाई पाई नाउ सी द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन इज गिवन इन जीरो टू पाए ओनली एंड दैट इज वन रेस्ट अदर प्लेस इट इज जीरो सो ओनली वी नीड टू टेक जीरो टू पाई एंड द वैल्यू इज वन साइन ओमेगा वी डी वी एंड सो द इंटीग्रेशन इज माइनस को साइन ओमेगा वी ओवर ओमेगा एंड दैट इज फ्रॉम जीरो टू पाई देन दिस इज अ टू बाय पाई नाउ वी टू पुट पाई हियर सो माइनस को साइन ओमेगा पाई और पाई ओमेगा ओवर ओमेगा देन माइनस एंड माइनस प्लस वी जीरो को साइन जीरो इज वन सो इट इज वन ओवर ओमेगा एंड सो दिस वन इज टू बाय पाई वन माइनस को साइन पाई ओमेगा ओवर ओमेगा सो हैंस द फोर ईयर साइन इंटीग्रल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ एफ एक्स इज एफ एक्स इक्वल टू टू बाय पाई अपॉन टू बाय पाई इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी बी ओमेगा एंड बी ओमेगा इज ओके सो एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू बी ओमेगा साइन ओमेगा एक्स डी ओमेगा सो नाउ बी ओमेगा इज दिस वैल्यू टू बाई पाई वी कैन टेक इट आउट साइड डोंट टेक ओमेगा आउट साइड बिकॉज वी आर हैविंग द इंटीग्रेशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ओमेगा इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी वन माइनस को साइन पाई ओमेगा ओवर ओमेगा इंटू साइन ओमेगा एक्स डी ओमेगा नाउ वी टेक दिस टू बाई पाई ऑन दिस साइड बिकॉज दैट्स वॉट वी वॉन्ट ऑल्सो देन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इंटीग्रेशन सो देर फॉर इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी वन माइनस को साइन पाई ओमेगा ओवर ओमेगा साइन ओमेगा एक्स डी ओमेगा इक्वल टू पाई बाई टू इंटू एफ एक्स 
and pi by 2 into fx so this is equal to now fx is given by 1 when 0 to pi 0 when x greater than pi so pi by 2 when 0 to pi and here we are given a close interval okay and 0 when x greater than pi okay so that is the answer thank you